Hi, and welcome back to Always Dolls. Today, we are taking a step back in time, making these adorable American Girl size 1980s cassette tapes. For this craft, you will need strips of paperboard. I used recycled cereal boxes. Cut your paperboard into rectangles 2.2 cm wide by 3.5 cm long. It was helpful to cut in batches. Just measure, mark, then cut with scissors or an X-Acto blade. You will need six rectangles per cassette. Take four rectangles for the body of the cassette. Using a template, make holes as shown. Place the template over your blank rectangle and punch. Using a template helps ensure all your pieces are the same. Next, we need to cut out an inner window for the front and back of the cassette. Again, use a template to draw in the smaller window for both pieces. When making cuts, it helps to use a piece of low-tack tape to hold the paperboard in place. Now we need to make this arched piece. Take the open template and line up the bottom edge with a scrap piece of paperboard. Trace the shape. Then take the punch template and mark where the holes go. Here I used a brad punch. Cut out two of these shapes. With all the pieces ready to go, we can glue them together. Here is what the cassette looks like so far. It's optional, but you can use an emery board to file the corners round. Make one or make many. Time to paint. I used a mix of gray and light white acrylic paint for this step. Cover the front, back, sides and inside of the holes. This is the first coat. It took three layers of paint to be opaque. For the labels, cut strips of poster board to fit the size of the inner window. Flip over and trace where you need to punch the holes. Decorate your labels using coloured markers, then glue into the window. To bring back the finer details, use a black marker and colour in the smaller holes. Here are my finished cassette tapes. As a bonus craft, I gathered paints from my stash to make up a rainbow palette. I painted my remaining tapes. To make a simple 80s themed wall art, cut foam board or cardboard into a 10 by 16 centimeter rectangle. Cover with brick scrapbook paper, then arrange the cassettes in rainbow order. For extra pop, I painted fun foam letters and one cassette silver. There you have it, some fun, nostalgic 80s decor for the dollhouse. 
Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video and consider subscribing to Always Dolls for more miniature crafting fun.